What's up, YouTube? How you guys doing? Hope everybody's doing good today. Um, I wanted to come to you guys today and let you know that we're going to have a new series going up on YouTube. The series is hopefully going to be kind of a, a crash course, an intro to. It's going to explain how to set up your trading view. It's going to give you kind of an overview of my view of markets, crypto and traditional, kind of all of them. Um, and then hopefully get you guys trading and and uh, understand and, and visualize and see the markets in the way that I do. Not to say that I'm some great trader or anything like that, um, but I do think I kind of look at things maybe a little bit different, a little bit simpler. Uh, and and so the idea will be to have a series that we put on YouTube and there'll be a bunch of shorter videos, maybe three to five minutes, something like that, whatever it ends up being. Um, and we'll do successive ones and uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy it. In this video, what I wanna be able to do is give you guys a nice overview of what's to come, and then also a way to set up your charts. The first thing I wanna do is change the screen over and, and get you guys plugged into TradingView. You go to them at tradingview.com. They do support before I switch over. I do wanna say, they've hooked me up with these, these uh, tarot cards that are hilarious. They sent these to me. They support the stream. They sent me this mug. So they're big supporters, and I'm a big supporter of theirs. I think they're the best software out there to chart anything. So any kind of charting, traditional crypto markets, whatever it is, I, I do think they're the best. And I, they, I'm no paid shill. I'm just saying. I think they're the best. The very first thing that you're going to see whenever you log in to TradingView, it should look like this. It should look like this. And this can be a lot for some people, especially when you see my charts, like kind of the finished product of, of how I have things set up uh, looks a bit like this. Very different, especially if I if I do it like that. Um, the color screen, the, the, the whole setup is very different. So I want to be able to help you guys turn your chart in anything that you'd like, whether it's like how I have it, a different way, whatever. And a lot of people like to set up their own style and so when they post on Twitter or, or whatever, uh, it's very clear that it's their style. I, I don't care so much about that, but you may be, you may be into that. So the first thing you want to do, uh, in my opinion, the first thing you want to do is move the volume up to its own panel above or pane. Uh, so I do above. A lot of people like vomit when I, say, when I do that. Let's say you don't want it above. You, you had a little oopsie. You say, you know what? I did not mean for this to be up there. Um, so I either want to hide it and just not look at it, or I can move it around. So there's these arrows off to the right, allow you to move up or down. You can, you can adjust things however you'd like. Now, the next thing is the, the visuals. I like to change this. I don't like a bright white screen. It hurts my eyes. I don't enjoy doing it. So what I do is, is a little gradient. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch this to gradient. Now, it's already got my preset stuff in there. But let's just say it came like that, right? Because you moved from solid solid white to gradient white. Look just like that. You can make it two-tone. You know, maybe you want it starting lighter on the top and darker on the bottom. That's kind of nice. Nothing wrong with that. Now, the next thing you probably want to do is get rid of these lines in the background. So let me, let me make it a little bit lighter so that you guys can see. So these lines in the background, a, a lot of people are like, man, get that out of here. What do I do? What do I have to do? What you have to do is click right here and then drag the, o the opacity down. Put them to zero. Now your lines are completely gone. So now you don't have the vertical or horizontal lines. Some people might want only one, but not the other. For example, if you're very focused on support and resistance levels, perhaps uh, the horizontal lines being on, you know, that might check the box for you. So if I made them very light, let's say white lines, and I made my gradients very dark. You know, perhaps that's your style. So it's up to you. Play around with it. See what you like. So now the, the lines are gone. And then also the text, you can see, especially on the darker backgrounds, like some people will do something like this. Uh, well, all of a sudden, I can't see the letters over there. That's this one. That's this option right here. So you can change that around. I said the, the letters, the numbers. So the numbers are a different color. So you can change that, change the color, have those pop up. So now we're, we have kind of the, the start of, of our trading view charts. Now we know visually we can be happy about that. We, we know that things are going to look good. Okay, guys, I think that's going to do it this time. Thank you for your support. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash CryptoJack. 
and also on Twitter at underscore CryptoJack. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time.